God, the star out of Judah, this lamb now is on earth and begins to say, I'm going to create fishers of men because now the signs have fully declared everything. The story, the, the stars weren't just created just in random. So this idea of then living in the house or living in as where the gods are in the heavens, we're on earth, and they begin to match this. Egypt built the temples to match what the heavens were, and it comes into our story because God camps the children of Israel in the symbols, in the signs of the stars. We would look at it as the banner they're marching under, but they are camped, it says north, east, south, west. All this is built in the same structure as the stars. And this is where I'm gonna lose some of you. We don't see it that way. The rabbinical writings talk about it all the time of how each tribe was designated into a house. The biggest one, what house do we know the most? Judah. So God lives among the stars. He's descended in the Holy of Holies. We know the heavens surround him. Why wouldn't we organize ourselves this way as well? You wanna take a guess what house Judah's in? The lamb, the star out of Judah. Where else is the lamb going to come from? Well, when these celestial bodies are, are, are rotating, there's typically one star that is still in the other house before it completely resets. And we begin to realize that God is stepping into this world because we see that these people, these magi, these guys are scientists, think of them as people studying the stars in the east, they looked up and we saw a star that rose. Somebody moved their gods again. And the science and the publications and the media is going crazy because somebody just moved our gods again. Rome creates a whole new uh, god, Mithra, to, to solve this. Mithraism is the foundation of what they go with and say Mithra is the all-powerful god. It matches the, creation, the, the story of Christ very, very closely. Virgin birth, shepherd, manger, there's a lot of similarities there. They're trying to combat this, this story that's happening. But they're saying, somebody moved our gods, but we know God came down to earth. And you can study it in history. Egypt, Macedonia, Babylon, Persia, all these people are saying some god did something huge. Any idea what house is next? What's the symbol of Christ to the early church? The lamb is now here. What house does he set up? Pisces, the fish, Ichthus. The early church is like, absolutely. You want to guess what the, the house is? The house of faith. God, the star out of Judah, this lamb now is on earth and begins to say, I'm going to create fishers of men because now the signs have fully declared everything. The story, the, the stars weren't just created just in random. He ordered the earth. He's ordered the story of the text. Why wouldn't the heavens declare this? We often miss the signs. I'm not saying dive into studying the stars and, and getting meaning from it like this, but I'm saying that God ordained it. He established it from the foundations of the earth. Day one, he set up the heavens to declare the glory of God. And it was all pointing to one location, one specific point in time, over one little neighborhood, out of one tribe. And the heavens are declaring that, no, this lamb now that has come out is now born in a manger. And God is now among men. And it ripped the heavens open. Science was going, this is not normal but God ordained it from the very beginning because the fulfillment of a creation now, everything was pointing just to one place where God steps in among men. And now the morning star that once was up there is now on earth.